Hello everyone and welcome back to the FAQ series. Today I want to talk with you about the pricing of Azure Stack HCI and give you some more clarity on how Azure Stack HCI as an operating system is built and which option you have to may save some bucks on uh, your HCI and also on workloads running on HCI, especially Windows Virtual Machines. To do so, let me quickly switch to the pricing page. Everything I will tell you, I will also link in the description below. So no worries, you can read everything up afterwards. So in the first place, Azure Stack HCI is licensed via your Azure subscription. So what you do, you pay around $10 or $8 per physical core per month. So not per socket, per physical core on the socket. That's directly connected to your Azure subscription. So you pay everything out of your Azure subscription. You can take every Azure subscription you have or create a new one if you like. And that will pay off your Azure core licensing. There are no Windows Server licenses included. Linux, yes, run Linux, feel free. Uh, we are happy with that. If you're using Enterprise Linux like Red Hat, Enterprise Linux or SUSE, then you need to have also additional licenses for those. But all free distributions like Debian or Ubuntu are free of charge for Windows, you need to have an active Windows license, which can also be covered by a data center license connected to the Azure Stack HCI host. Or as you can see below here, if you don't have any licenses, that can also be licensed through your Azure subscription with a monthly charge of around 24 bucks. There's an, that's the OPEX model. With the introduction of Azure Stack HCI 22H2, there was also a new licensing model introduced using the hybrid use benefits of Azure itself. So if you have a Windows Server Data Center license with software assurance, you can leverage the hybrid use benefits, which you may say, uh, see here. And that enables you to use your software assurance on Azure Stack HCI and get a certain number of cores. So at the moment it's limitless here while I'm taking that video to license your Azure Stack HCI with your Windows Server license. So no additional charges, no additional costs, no core count costs in form of Azure consumed revenue on your subscription. You just need to link and activate your Azure Stack HCI using the option described below at your server subscription and then all Windows Server licenses all of Kubernetes and Azure Stack HCI will be free of charge. So no Azure consume revenue. So it's not free. Yes, you're using up one of your Windows Server licenses, but from a monthly perspective, it's free of charge, as you can see here. And that's basically all. Included in Azure Stack HCI charges and also in your licenses when you run on Azure Stack HCI is the additional extended support for older Windows Server operating systems like Windows Server 2012, 2008 or 2 and so on. So as long as they are under extended support, you will receive it on Azure Stack HCI with your monthly billing or with your license uh, with your licenses connected. As I said, I will link you everything below. I would also recommend my blog post about how to run Azure Stack HCI for LOPEX. It gives also a bit more details into pricing and how it comes together, especially when you want to run full LOPEX on your own hardware. So like Dell, HPE or Lenovo and not 
getting any uh, Azure Stack HCI Pro with monthly billing. So check out the, uh, that one too. So that's our quick FAQ for today, linking you everything below what you, what you need. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe, leave us a like, and leave us more questions in the comment. Have a great one. Bye.